Um, uh, obviously, there's this, Fist of the Forgotten, which my understanding is this came out... I don't know exactly how recently the demo got posted. I know news of it becoming a thing... Uh, news of it getting a demo was out around a month ago, almost. I think there was an article in late, mid to late October talking about this getting a demo. Um, this is a game by Lone Wolf Studio, which is as you might expect, a single person. Uh, you may have seen him around here. It goes by the uh, the screen name Jitsbo on Twitch and Twitter and Mastodon. Uh, in fact, he actually just raided me uh, last night while I was playing Quake because he was playing the Sewer Jam, which he also submitted a map to. It was his first uh, Quake map submission, uh, if I recall correctly. And he's hoping to use it in one of... He's hoping to also, like, repurpose that map for one of his games as well. He's working on two games, at least two games. One is this, and one is, uh, an FPS that I think goes by the name of Kook. Uh, this is very much not an FPS. This is one of those, like, silhouette platformer type games, which I'm usually not much for, but this one has some interesting, like, it's got some interesting movement and stuff going on. It's got very smooth, uh camera and an action sequences and whatnot so looks like it and and it's got some uh, some cool movement tech so i may be very bad at it but we're gonna give it a try and, and see what happens and this was done in the godot engine uh reading off of the steam description just of the forgotten is a platformer set in a harsh dark world but that doesn't mean you're helpless relics passed down from your family allow you to interact with forgotten technology and fight your way forward Make your way through a forgotten civilization facing ancient automatons and acquire some of their technology. 3D assets and high frame rate physics allow for per perfectly smooth, fluid animation, even on monitors that display at greater than 100 hertz. So that tells you that this game is made with like high refresh rates in mind, and it shouldn't have any like frame rate dependent shenanigans going on. Because uh, some games you can't actually play at high frame rates because they don't work. <laughs> Um, I, I've even seen uh, a, sh a shmup that, that breaks horribly on high frame rate displays. Like, I tried playing Hurricane Levarstre once, and you, I actually have to turn my monitor down for that. Actually, I had to turn my monitor down to 60 for Shovel Knight because it doesn't always properly frame limit. So, you'd be surprised where you run into games where frame rate is actually an issue if you're on a high frame rate uh, display. Mechanics in the game, such as sliding down slopes and grappling, allow you to build up and maintain momentum. Fist of the Forgotten's narrative contains no dialogue, so you are free to pay attention to the details to understand the depth of the story. Try to uncover alternate endings, or simply focus on flowing through the levels as quickly as possible and enjoy the gameplay. Speedrunning in mind, maybe? The, f the Fist provides combat capabilities as well as movement. Use it to reach further platforms and combine it with other momentum-gaining abilities, such as sliding down hills to cover extreme gaps. And there's a few, there's a trailer, and there's a few animations uh, within the Steam store page if you want to look at some of that to get a glimpse. Yeah, Pyro, that's that's what I'm checking out because I saw that it has a demo now. So we're gonna check that out first. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and and give it a try. Um, one thing that's neat is this is one of those games that has like music-based menu uh, sound effects. So, like, the, the notes that you hear when you hover over the menu actually change as the chord progression progresses. It's probably not terribly audio, uh, aud audible right now, so let me actually... I don't know whether I should increase the music or not, but I guess we can try doing that. Um, also, I'm using the mouse right now, but of course I can use controller, and I expect to use controller when it comes to actually playing the game. And to that extent, we've got controls in here for both keyboard and controller. Uh, the def the only thing I've changed from the defaults is I added right trigger along with right bumper here. I'm assuming maybe there will eventually be, like, I don't know if the full game will have a bigger move set, and maybe there'll be other things to use triggers for, but I figured just to make my life easier for now, I would add that on there. Um... Oh, it does have rumble strength as well, so that's a thing that you can mess with. Hey, Waxcoat. 
But yeah, you've got video settings. Um, I forget if VSync was on by default or not. I tend to habitually turn it on. I think I didn't have to here. You've got several anti-aliasing levels. You've got HDR, you've got full screen, which was on by default. You've got borderless, which was not on by default, but I turned it on. You can display your frame rate, which shows up in the top right corner there. Uh, limiting frame rate, actually. So the funny thing is I changed this, which you, the one unfortunate thing is you have to use the keyboard to change this number. <laughs> You can't you can't change it with the controller as far as I can tell like you can't focus the up and down ticks next to it Which I guess might work with mouse Okay, it, it operates in increments of, of 10 and it does like it does operate across this entire region It's not just the arrow itself, so it's not impossible to click But I guess I need to actually also click that to actually turn it on. I don't know It seemed like it was capping at 120 even without that checkbox checked, but when I turned on the display frame rate, but whatever, we'll, we'll do it that way. Um, what's in other settings? Timer, display input on screen. These are both nice for like, if someone wants to speed run this, because then you can actually see at the bottom of the screen there, um, there's actually incredibly low contrast, at least right now, um, outlines right now of each of the buttons. And then like when you press them, like I'm pressing jump right now, now I'm pressing the attack button. Now I'm pressing the grapple buttons. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. I'm gonna turn that off for now, just so that it's not like super distracting while I'm just casually playing through the demo. But it's cool that it's there. Um, of course, on the title screen we have a note that this is a work in progress and does not necessarily reflect the final quality of the game. Join the Discord server to provide feedback, and you've got links to Discord, Steam wish list, and Twitter. Um, I don't know. Does this does this open Jitspo's account or is this its own profile? This is its own profile, so this is actually uh, Fist Forgotten is the name of the Twitter account for this. But Jitspo also is on Twitter and Mastodon.social at just, uh, just Jitspo. Um, Alright, let's go ahead. Okay, we've got multiple save slots already. We've got challenge levels apparently. I will say, like, the glow effect on the text can make it a little harder to read. And, like, um, the, the work in progress text is on a very light background in some places, so that's kind of unfortunate. But, um, of course, that text probably won't be there in the final version anyway, so... That might not be something worth nitpicking, but... What? I thought this wasn't an FPS. Watch out for that tree. Okay, so this is your family that all made use of these artifacts or whatever. You got, you know, the two parents have bracelets. I guess we're supposed to be the one that has the necklace and the bracelet. Oh, I think those were teardrops. Oh no, that's rain. Well, maybe it was teardrops, we don't know. The text is uh, apparently uh, skywriting. Oh yeah, there you go. We're we're the girl. It's interesting that like you actually have like full brightness and and texturing and everything because once we get into the game, that's not going to be the case anymore. A game by Nathan Jitzbell Wolf of Lone Wolf Studios or Oh jeez. Why does it always have to start with falling through, you know, uh, a trap of uh, tree branches or twigs or whatever. So now, now we have control. I feel like this is one of those games where like the camera movement might be a little bit like nausea inducing. And I, uh, I can slide, right? Yeah, there we go. Because like, 
the amount that the camera it, it's delayed in this game like i've i know i've played some super metroid rom hacks where i don't know why they do it but like certain rom hacks i've played like mess with the camera and like make it jerk around really fast as soon as you look in another direction this one at least there's a delay but it is kind of a, a very fast movement when it does finally move. It feels overly... Overly, uh... It kind of feels like Whiplash or something. I can't seem to, like, mess with the camera myself with the right stick or anything. Whoa, it's, it's like I'm playing Apex or something. Oh wow, we can jump pretty high, actually. When we're on an incline, it seems like. That didn't work. I can't ledge grab, it seems like. But yeah, it seems like if I'm on an incline, my jumps go higher. Is there a... there's a symbol here. I guess we can actually take the train. I think we're actually supposed to go over... well... Question mark. One out of three question marks. Do I... Is there any inventory or- oh shit, no, I'm not supposed to- <laughs> I just pressed the quick reset button. Uh... Which apparently also resets that, so actually it was probably good that I found that out here. Okay, now what? Can I push this? No. Oh, but I can... That that feels like a, an oddly precise jump. Oh, okay, so now we can actually keep going on the train. That camera pan is also very fast and kind of... Uh, kind of whiplashy. Always try going left first. Do I get up there? Can I get up there from here? Yes, I can. Seems like it's quite important. Okay, and here they... So, this is interesting. So, I had already noticed that when you're running on inclines, you seem to jump noticeably higher. It seems like they make... They force you to learn that here, with this specific incline. But you seemingly already had to have noticed that here to even get to where this one is. So it seems like it could... It seems like if you were to reverse this, to, like, put that incline down here or something, and then put this up there, that would probably work better, because it would very forcibly convey that. Can I actually get over here, too? Yes, I can. I, f I feel like I'm right back in a Mazu map right now, trying to do trick jumps. That is a very thin platform. Whoa, okay. Wait. I already got up there, though. <laughs> Hang on. Didn't I already go over here? <laughs> Was that pointless? Oh no, that also unblocked the train. Okay. I thought that was supposed to get me over to there, but no, it actually did two things. But can I do other stuff over here? More secrets. Okay, so we've got one out of three question marks, one out of two exclamation points, and two out of three flower things. It's like you're collecting punctuation, but also flowers. And apparently the exclamation points have to do with challenges. Uh, now we have lasers. Lasers seem like they could be bad. Also, the interesting thing is, like... When I run over the tracks, I actually do get a bit of rumble feedback. 
I it, it I do need to like point out that I did reduce the rumble, so I'm kind of wondering like, am I supposed to get rumble whenever I walk in general? Is that in here? No, that wasn't here probably. So if I were to turn this back up. There's definitely significant, you know, there's a bit of rumble feedback when you land from jumps. And if you land from higher, it's probably stronger. But yeah, for some reason, specifically on the tracks, more so than anything else, it seems like. Alright, let me turn it back down again. So, I would assume that lasers kill me. Somehow I have a feeling there's going to be more lasers. Can I get up there? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I had a feeling that toggles all of them. What does this do? I have no idea what that did. I don't- I also don't know why I can interact with it multiple times. I don't know if that's doing anything or not. Dead. <laughs> oh, that's a checkpoint! That's what that is! <laughs> I, I died in exactly the same place again. I did it even worse that time. I need to jump earlier, not later. There we go. I almost messed it up again. And there's a thing down here. We found all the flowers. Mission accomplished, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, okay. So that we can get over here. I don't suppose I can get over there at all easily? Doesn't seem like... Is there something under here? Oh, I can actually hold, uh, hold up or down to look up and down, so that's cool. I don't have any attack yet, so... Can't do anything with that. That looks breakable, but I have nothing to break it with. Uh, I probably do have to just jump from over here. Oh, that is a door. Okay. And that is a staircase that doesn't really exist, or what? Oh, now we actually are underneath it. Oh, and then we end up going full circle. Okay. I get up there? Not really. Didn't seem like there was anything to collect there. I don't know if I missed anything. I wonder if this is the end of the line, because it seems like we actually reach a station this time. I'm kind of- I'm a little bit surprised that checkpoints don't auto-activate, but I can also, like, understand that you might not want them to in some cases. Oh. I kind of- kind of missed an opportunity there. I wonder if I can get that thing. Oh, I can actually come back through there, too. There we go. Is there actually anything down there? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, oh, there's another one right here. You could almost just skip that. Whoa, that looks like it would probably kill me. Whoa, where the heck are we now? Did we just reach the astral plane? Something below this? These things are in like perfect rhythm with the music. Alright, 
before we go up there. Nope, dead. <laughs> it's like worth checking. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, figured I should have seen that coming. Uh, so how do I get up there? Oh, shouldn't have done that. Dead again. Surprised I managed to salvage that. I kind of jumped too early. Okay, what? Nope. It actually comes back, so that's interesting. I can make it. Okay, it's a little tight, but I can make it. So now, am I supposed to go that way? Okay, it, it conveniently zooms out for you. There is a checkpoint here. I should take that. What? Uh, under jumped. Well, what's this? Okay. Now where am I? I'm dead is where I am. Wait, but there might be other stuff down here? <laughs> Perfect trajectory. Okay, maybe don't do that. Hey, we got a thing. One out of seven things. What does the thing do? I don't know. I feel like there's no way in heck I'm getting up there from here. Was there anything else I should be able to do from over where I was? I gotta go back around again if I want to go over there. Whoa, you can just skip that gap entirely. Hang on a sec. Probably can't get in there. What about... Nope. <laughs> Nothing but spikes. Or whatever these red things are. Phase on? I don't know. Oh, wait a s okay, hang on. I think I see what we have to I think we need to learn momentum mechanics now. Yeah, that barely worked. I could have done better than that, probably. We need more momentum here too, it looks like. How is this gonna work? As long as you keep... Yeah, this is Apex. Never never not be sliding. Whoa, okay, that didn't work. Uh, I wonder if I can make it work from here. Probably not. Definitely not. Do I just need to jump earlier? That still wasn't really... I think I need to jump before it gets to the steeper incline. Nope. That ends up being too early. There's no way I can get up there. I might need I might need some kind of mobility that I don't have yet. Whoa, hi. Uh, you don't seem friendly. You are definitely not friendly. I'm gonna try this one more time. What? Wait, can I stop here? Yeah, I kind of can. There's no way I can get enough height there, though. What about... This isn't really an incline, so I don't think this is going to work. I don't think I can get enough speed to do it that way. Unless... No, not really. I don't know how to get that one. And, of course, if you bonk there, that's, that's not going to be good. That's the other exclamation point, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, I might miss out on the other exclamation point. Because I don't know how you're supposed to make that jump. I just don't see any way of doing that. I need to get up there. <laughs> and I am very much not getting up there. 
I would really love to see there be a way to do this from this side. So what if I try to get like a running... Wait, what about this? Not really. No, not really. There's nowhere near enough speed from that direction. But from the left, I can't get enough height. Oh man. That works. I should have jumped. Is this like quicksand or something? This seems like it's quicksand or something. So I'm probably gonna die. Hi. Goodbye. Jump. Nope, not enough speed. It it seems like it stunts my jump height. Maybe not. Maybe it's just maybe it's just a texture thing. Oh hi. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not getting that exclamation point, unfortunately. Wait, there's... That's an interesting place for a checkpoint. I actually might want to restart this from the checkpoint. I didn't think this was going to be the way forward, but it seems like this may be the way forward. So hang on a sec. Before we do that... Oh, yeah, there's another thing over there. Okay. Uh, can I go far enough back to get enough speed to get up there? Oh, I, I stopped the slide. That is definitely not enough speed to get over there. I might be screwed. So wait, was that the one I was struggling to get over before? No, this is the one. Okay, so they do let you get back. Don't die. Please don't die. God damn it. <laughs> the problem with that is I put the checkpoint here now. Yeah, there's there's no way I'm getting that at this point. It's kind of prohibitive to go back. I don't know, those things seem like they would probably be important, though. That's why I would like to get it, but... I don't think it's gonna happen. Let me try going back one more time. Like, may maybe I should just, like... Try going all the way back... To the previous checkpoint. Is he gonna catch up to me? I didn't expect him to go up. Alright, screw it. We're not we're not 100 percenting anything in this. I'm stuck here now? Oh, can I crawl through there? I can crawl through there. I almost didn't see that. I, mo I mostly only knew of that because of the uh, trailer. Am I dead? I the funny thing is I wasn't dead. So I could just let him open that for me and then run. Apparently. So is the secret let him punch everything? The secret might be let him punch everything. Oh, yeah, okay. Ow. <laughs> Wait, so how many of these are there? As far as I can tell, it's just the two over here. There, I don't know if there's another one over there. Punch 
this stuff? Uh, okay. Nope, not what I wanted. So there was one time that I got him to not kill me <laughs> when he punched through that barrier, but I feel like that's not what I'm supposed to do. But the problem is I can't get all the way up there. Can I duck? Nope. <laughs> I don't even know what I did last time that got him to not kill me. So I'm a little confused here. I'm, I'm obviously missing something. Oh, I can just like jump on his head, all right. There we go. Maybe you really do just have to time it. And I was really bad at timing it after the first couple of times. Bonk. Uh, does he live there now? Nope. Yeah, now I need to go back. supposed to oh do I punch him and what does that do oh what I can I can I can activate something here I would not have expected that it's it's weird that like it's red and then he punches it and then it's all silhouette so unless you go to that exact spot which you are not likely to do because you've been running for your life from this dude for the last five minutes you're not going to realize you actually have to activate something there. And now I can punch him in the face. And he has no face anymore. Bonk. Bonk. That is a lot of fucking screen shake. You might want to make there be an option for that. To, like, tone it down. Oh, also, this gives me, like, a burst of speed, too. Okay. At least a little bit. I don't know, is there anything interesting for me to do over here now? Like, seriously, that is a lot of screen shake. It takes me a second to even realize where the heck I am after that. Definitely gonna want an option to dial that back. And now, I guess I am able to punch things? Yeah, there we go. Oh, also, that can, like, jumpstart your slide, so that's important. Wait, what? That was interesting. Hang on. How did I just... Because it was like, I seemingly punched the wall, even though I, like, punched and then jumped or something. But yeah, so you can just, like, head start your slide now by punching when you're ducked. Alright, time for more training. Alright, that's pretty great. Yeah, get the hell out of here, jerk. What did that do, exactly? Can I punch spikes? Nope. <laughs> oh, that's another checkpoint. Okay. Okay, so when you're in these areas, this is what checkpoints look like. They're not always terminal-looking things. I did not know that. from over here? Yes. Is there a reason that I can't really get to that platform? Oh, okay, I can actually... I thought that was gonna be, like, two short platforms, but no, it's one long platform. Well, I screwed that up, didn't I? Uh, do I live here now? Nope, but we get to do the whole thing again. Actually, 
quick reset would be the faster way to deal with this. Again, tragically perfect placement to not make that jump. Oh, damn it. Alright, let's do it over again. Again. I wonder if I can shortcut this entire loop by, like, doing this correctly. Well, not, not like that. Yeah, there's this weird thing that sometimes happens if your if your punch is still out when you jump. Where it'll actually bash into the wall. Even though you punched before you jumped. So there's like some like there's like a lengthened period of time where your punch is still active, I guess. Are you really just camping there? That was interesting because there's actually like a cooldown. Your your punch is throttled. Apparently there's liquid down there. So like you almost don't have enough time to do a second punch to get that guy. It seems like it's kinda tight. Alright, that works, I guess. You definitely do need to take advantage of the punch increasing your momentum and giving you a little head start. Oh, I'm surprised that worked. Actually. First thing I should do is see if there's anything down there. There is not. Now, how the heck does this thing work? When it's- when it's black, it's a platform. When it's not black, it's not a platform, presumably. But it's kind of confusing to make sense of the- oh jeez, well that's not gonna work. Seems like it would have been less annoying to put the checkpoint up here, so that you don't have to make that tricky jump every time. Oh, I didn't realize you can punch in directions. Okay. That that changes things a bit. I can punch up, dude. Nice. Like, get fucked, management. Alright, so... Wait for this thing to be mostly flat, and then go for it. Where the heck am I? What on earth just happened? I have no idea. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm making this jump harder than it has to be, probably. Because I can probably do that. Mm, maybe not. That seems like it should have worked. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, oh, okay. I guess that's what you do then. I didn't realize that was how that was going to work at all. Oh dear. <laughs> well, I get to do it again anyway. That didn't work either. Maybe a mid-air dash type thing would work. Okay, so I can kind of just, like, go wherever the heck I want. Except where I actually want to go. up, please. What are you doing? Okay. I do need to kind of use the punch to get where I want to go. Okay, that worked. And these also seem to kind of work like that. Oh, jeez. Oh! I didn't realize I can kind of use that like a double jump. I just saved that at the last minute. I don't know if there was anything to the left of that. I don't care. I wanted out of that. <laughs> what about to the left of this, though? Now there might actually be something over here. What about... Nope. That spikes. Aha! Wait.
Wait, how is that still one out of seven? I thought I had gotten one of those before. Did I get cheat? Did I get cheated out of one of them by like dying before? Yeah. Oh. Or are those actually? Do I lose those when I die? Is that just how that works? I should have done a running. I should have done a a punch jump like that. Yeah, those are just. Oh no, it's back. It was doing that to show me that I lost it because I died. And then I would have to get it again, I guess. I almost screwed that up. Yeah, so now it's very important to realize at this point... Okay, that's that's probably a viable shortcut going up through there. But yeah, at this point you absolutely need to be punching in midair to extend your jumps. Oh, what? was good. Oh, that was that was very not good. I you know what? I I let go of the slide. Yeah, that that made the difference. Oh, pfft. and then I punched down. You don't punch down. Assuming this will kill me. Oh, no, it won't. Okay. These are interestingly detailed cubes. I feel like I'm in the Brutalist gym all over again. That's not what I should have done. Oh, there's a laser down there, too. Didn't even realize. Alright, that works. Interesting effects in the background there, too. Whoop! Hey, there's actually visible water now. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let's just, let's just do it that way. <laughs> Once again, sometimes the platforms are not in the places I wish they were for this to work. Like that. Like, this game, the way the movement in this game works, it very much feels like it's supposed to be about flow, and then when the flow doesn't work, it's kind of sad. Whoop, let's try to save that. Okay, good. I'm kind of surprised that worked. Okay. Apparently activating those things actually did something. It wasn't just checkpoints. I was wondering if the way it was lighting up the background had meaning to it. Oh, jeez. You don't seem very nice. Can I punch you? Yes, I can. That's all that really matters. Oh, but I can't run into you. I can o <laughs> Please punch. No touch, only punch. <sighs> oh, 
I gotta remember I can punch down. This is where punching down is actually good. I should probably honestly just skip the first one. How did that not work? I don't think I even saw the punch, like, connect with the ground. I attempted to punch down, but I don't think it actually happened. I don't know what happened. Like, I'm trying to test it now to make sure it'll work next time. Tragic when they line the enemies up perfectly so that you die if you just don't jump. I'm sure these people really appreciate me punching their houses repeatedly. You know what? We're just going to skip him, if at all possible. Oh god, he can shoot through there? That's, that's not good. I meant to, I meant to fall on the house, not on... Not all the way to the bottom. God damn it. Uh, I need to actually do that there. Okay. Thank you. That's all I wanted you to do. Okay, now we can actually focus on not dying and getting up here. Oh, silly me thought that this was all, that the the house above me was also in the foreground, but it's not black. It's blue, therefore it's not. You you might want to think about more contrast for the foreground versus background, because like when I was focused on that enemy not killing me. I wasn't really focusing on the black versus the blue anymore. I was focusing on the shapes, so I didn't think I could land here, and that's why I made that harder for myself before. Oh, okay, we need to do that. That does not work. That might work if you timed it exactly right. Why do I keep jumping earlier? I'm surprised that worked. I did not expect that to work. Okay, we've also got, like, scraps of paper with numbers on them. Let me go save again. Now that actually is foreground. You wouldn't think you could fit through there, but you can just barely fit through there. Can I punch the water tower? Uh, yes, but it probably didn't do me any good. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Why does it sound like there's a ticking clock or something? Did not expect that to do that. There we go. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't get out of there in time. The other one got me. I mean, the second one. The same one that got me before, really. Okay. You, what? Oh, come on. How did that not hit the dude? Wait, what? Does their laser really work that long? <laughs> Get out of here. All right, whatever. We're we're through. Oh boy. Okay. Can I go back? Nope.
There could have been other stuff there for all I know. I'm surprised this didn't kill me. Is that actually an elevator? That might actually be an elevator. Wonder if wall jumping is eventually a thing. It does seem like there's some kind of speed tech to keep you going fast. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Shadow Complex called it wants its spooters back. How about no? Uh, I actually don't know where I'm supposed to be going at this point. Oh. <laughs> that, that answers that question. This is where the demo ends. Feedback is much appreciated. Follow on Twitter for development updates. Uh, well... I did at Jitspo on the, when I uh, started the stream, so hopefully he can check the uh, the VOD for for some of the. Uh, I'll, I'll highlight this. Certainly, certainly off to an interesting start. I do like the. Uh, I do think this has plenty of speed running potential. Uh, it's got cool movement mechanics and stuff. Um, I'm a little sad that there were a couple of things that I couldn't figure out, but I mean, I shouldn't expect to get 100% the first time through. But uh, it's certainly pretty promising. And it's got, like, the mechanics seem pretty satisfying. There were definitely a couple of parts where, like, I maybe felt like I was failing too many times, but... And, like, there's probably a couple of points where, like, exact positions of platforms could be tweaked to make things, like, flow better. But, like, also, I may have just not been doing things with the most efficient movement possible, and maybe it is actually optimal for, like, maybe the placement is optimal for that. Um, it would be interesting, like, off the top of my head, I don't know if I know any speedrunners who would, like, definitely, absolutely be into this game. Because, like, I feel like if this were a 3D game, Brian Otto would be all over this. I don't know if he does 2D platformers as much, but, like, he was all over, um, Solar Ash, for example. Um, but it would be interesting to, like, get somebody who's, like, really into, like, efficiency, uh, you know, optimizing efficiency of movement to test this and, like, see what they think, and also see what they can break. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, this is pretty darn cool, though. Like I said, I usually don't go for the whole, like, everything is a silhouette drama, but, uh, genre, rather. Um, I guess the part that I had the most, maybe the most issue with was just the, the part where, like, you have to run from the robot, and you have to jump at exactly the right time because you needed to punch things right behind you. Like, I wasn't sure whether I was supposed to be doing that or not at first, but it does seem like that was necessary. Um, and then the the conveyance issue I mentioned, what with, like, when you actually have to pick up the fist, there's nothing... Until you run up to it, which you're not inclined to do because you were just running for your life from that robot, there's nothing to indicate that actually you need to go right there and do something. Like, I'm surprised that didn't, like, stay red for that portion. Because it was red until the robot punches it. And then it's not red anymore and everything's a silhouette and nothing's happening. Um, and you gotta realize that, like, okay, should I check this out? I guess I should. Oh, there's an up arrow here. Yeah, I guess I do need to do something. Um, but, yeah, no, I could, I could see this, um appealing to, uh, to precision pa platformer people and stuff. Um, of course, yeah, I guess there was also, like, the, the feedback on just how the camera was, which, like, as long as you're moving in one direction, the camera is more or less fine. It's when it comes to quickly reversing directions that the camera can get kind of, like, motion sickness-inducing. 
And like I said, I, I've, I've even seen Super Metroid ROM hacks create that problem. So, I don't know. Maybe just something to, to tweak in terms of how fast the camera moves. And like, again, it's nice that like it does wait for a split second before it seems to do that. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what, it, what the exact right combination is there, but... Again, seems like pretty darn solid work so far, so this is this is pretty cool to check out. Um, and yeah, this demo is on Steam, so if you want to play it yourself and try to be fast and die less... Actually, that's something... <laughs> like, so in other settings, there's display timer. Th there's no death count, though, is there? So actually, it still shows the total time from before. Does that reset if I go back into it? I... Uh, uh, I would assume, like, okay, so I just started it there. Is this... I guess it uses UTC. Might want to figure out how to format local time for this, because that's really confusing. <laughs> oh, you can also practice levels. Okay, that's cool. Did I skip an entire level in the demo? Like, what? <laughs> oh, right, and we also unlocked challenge levels, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We, we unlocked one of the two. So I guess we can try this. Oh yeah, wait, should I should I go and uh No not there. Let's let's do the input on screen too. Alright, so now we've got that. Oh now I don't have the fist anymore. Yeah, actually the inputs on screen are kinda distracting. And also, hmm. I'm I'm trying to decide whether the timer is actually hard to see. Like, the shadow around the text is actually a good idea. Oh, I see. Alright. I, th I think we gotta do this in, in one motion. I wonder if we actually have to go... Or I wonder if the, if the objective is to do the full loop again. Can I... Can I restart this? So if you want to reset it, you kind of have to go through all those menus. It would be nice if you could, like, just reset the timer more quickly than that. So I could, I could, I could definitely see with, like, actually making the the control indicators smaller because they're they're very big right now so i'm assuming this is basically the same as the level earlier except with fewer oh what i slid off of there actually i don't know is it exactly the same or are there fewer things i feel like there's fewer things to yeah because like there was there was a platform over here and that's not here anymore so now you have to figure this shit out like that. Also, the total time is still ticking. Oh, wait, that just brought me right back to the beginning, didn't it? I'm not exactly sure how the challenge levels are supposed to work. If I go back to the main menu now, does it actually, like, show a time there? No. And I'm surprised that the total time is still, like, ticking up, even with challenge level playthroughs. So I'm not exactly sure what the meaning of challenge levels is. Let me see if I can do it again. That was not a good start. Like, it sure seems like it just brought me back to the same exact place. Is it not the same exact place? Sure seems like it is. So yeah, including the train cutscene, I'm doing sub-20 if I, if I don't screw it up. I would assume the point is to, like, record that as, like, a lap or something. 
but it doesn't seem to actually reflect that right now, but it seems like it's just repeating the same thing. So I'm not exactly sure if I understand the point of that right now, but maybe it's just kind of something, again, early development build sort of thing. I'm assuming that if I were to... If I start a new game, does that reset the timer? No, that doesn't reset the timer either. So that's also something... You also can't skip this, I guess. Oh wait, no, yes you can. You can hold the skip. Okay. Oh, you... So the funny thing is you can actually... At least I thought I was controlling the sliding there. But you can't make her not fall into the hole. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so the total time seems to be across save files right now also, which you probably don't want. Also, is there a way to delete files right now? Doesn't seem like it. So, that's also stuff that I presume will probably get handled at some point, but just isn't handled right now. But again, plenty of fun to be had with this demo, just to check it out, try to get all the stuff that's hidden in it. I guess, like, it teases the fact that there's various sorts of collectibles. We know that the exclamation po point collectibles give you challenge uh, levels. I don't know what the rest of them do. I don't know... Well, we did collect the three flowers. I don't know if there's supposed to be any observable consequence of that within the demo. Um, definitely didn't collect... There were supposedly, like, seven of those, like... It looked kind of like the bracelet thing, but I'm not sure if that's actually what it was portraying. Uh, I don't even know if there were seven in the demo. There's probably three... There There was a... I think I got two out of three question marks. I'm guessing the third one is somewhere. I don't know what that gives you. So, it, it teases a lot of different types of collectibles. Uh, a lot of which... The, the effect of which is not necessarily clear yet. But it's cool to know that there's, you know, like, side content to do that, like, you don't absolutely have to do. The the Steam description did say something about, like, alternate endings and stuff, too, right? So, like, some of them could have something to do with that. Uh, but, yeah, interesting stuff. So, Fist of the Forgotten by Lone Wolf Games. Wolf with a U. Um, and, uh... You can follow the or Lone, Lone, Wolf, Lone Wolf Studio, LLC, to be exact. You can follow the game, I think it was Fist Forgotten, on Twitter. And then you can follow the developer at Jitspo. J-I-T-S-P-O-E. Hopefully I'm not horrendously mispronouncing that. Yeah, Fist Forgotten is the, is the, sta is the Twitter dedicated to the game. Um, and Jitspo is both on Twitter and Mastodon.social. 